Hello everyone, I'm working with the Solid Doodle Workbench here today and I just want to make sure it ran well before I did anything or before I decided what to do with it. Um, you may be like me and just want to make sure it works before you take on anything or decide what to do. Um, one thing that I really liked about this printer and I decided to buy this was for one reason was because of the auto bed level feature which it has a sensor right here and it senses the bed and if it's not level it will automatically compensate for that now there's not really a whole lot of documentation I couldn't really find any documentation on how to set this up I went to solid doodles website and hopefully they will update the support website um, I found a few things you may want to check out if you click start here um, right first of all there is no solid doodle workbench link as of yet but I went to the third and fourth generation link and when you go there you'll actually um, there's a few helpful videos in here this one right here for belt tensioning helped me a lot kind of as a side note that helps you get the Y axis working really well so if, if you haven't checked that out be sure to do that but when it comes to the auto level I couldn't find anything now just to show you what I'm using I am using Repetier host um, and it seems to be working well as far as directing the um, printer where to go. Um, basically, you follow the normal steps in Repetier. You go to object placement. Well, first of all, of course, you connect, and I am connected. Then you go to object placement. You place your STL or add your STL file. You'll center or, or position your STL file on the printer virtually. You'll go to slicer, just like normal. Choose your slicer settings. Cl choose slice with slicer. And it takes a while. You'll see the kill slicer button. Now, it takes a while until that G code will finally, finally come open. Um, while it's doing that, what I usually do is just make sure everything's good on the printer. I'll go to the print panel, and I usually lower the print panel down 10 or maybe even 20 by clicking on the 10, and it lowers the, lowers the bed. Um, so you don't want to you want to make sure this switch is down in fact that's the most critical part this thing flips up and flips down make sure this is always down no matter what you're doing before you start the job and make sure the bed is low that's the sensor and you have gotta manually push it down as far as I can tell there may be a way that this is supposed to hit and pop that up but I haven't figured that out as of yet. If I do, or if anybody does, I'd love to see a video on that um, very soon. But for now, I've been pushing this down after every print. Just remember to always do that after you're done printing. So with that down, and with your bed having clearance, you're gonna go to Repetier, um, and of course, make sure your extruder heat is on. If you need your bed heat, turn that on, and um, that should be good to go. You can set that up all right there. Go ahead and go to G code once that pops up and you'll see the G code of course all these semicolon green text settings and then you'll see a G21 and you'll see an M107. Now right after the M107 just hit return or enter one time to give yourself a hard break of space and paste this code right here. I'll have this in the description. There, there is one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code. This will set up the auto bed feature. So G28, G29, G90, G92, all those, all that text right there from the G28 down to the G1, that's what you need to paste in there. And again, I'll paste this in the description. I'll try to hold the camera here so you can pause the video and copy that text. Um, so that is setting up the auto level feature and so it's telling it to level automatically. So once you get that set up, I've actually deleted the M107 and tried it without the M107 I, and I've tried it with it. It seems to work both ways so that doesn't seem to matter too much. Um, I'll let you comment on that in the comments of this video. Go ahead and click run with that set in place and you'll actually see it go back to the back corner and it automatically detects this right edge should automatically detect the right edge and then it will go kind of toward the center that's almost the center of the of the um, workbench's bed now I did set up the printer in Repetier so you'll need to definitely do that before you do any of this 
and you'll see it just kind of slides along the bottom right there, kind of strange. But then it goes back to the back corner. Now, if, I, if you took that M107 command out, I believe it does not do that step. It actually might save you a little bit of time. You can try that out on your own. I'm just leaving it in there because it seems to work with it and without it. Now it comes back and it senses the table and it's measuring the table. In fact, in the bottom of the Repeteer command software, you'll see it has all the coordinates and you see the Z axis is a little bit off for me. It's pretty close, but a little bit off. So it's actually doing a better job than I would have done manually by leveling because I did actually manually level this beta um, before I started. So it's getting it a little bit more precise and getting it all set. So it measures a total of 4, 8, 12, 16 times. And then it goes to the center, slides like you see there, and it starts printing. Now mine's not printing because I don't have the heat on. Or maybe it is. Okay, it is. It is actually printing. But I've had really good success with that. I just printed a circle right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it prints perfect circles. Just perfect. Um, unbelievable. Um, perfectly level now. And it works great. I'm just, I'm so glad I found this. <laughs> um, the code, as far as like the Marlin, the, the de dealing with this, um, software on the actual chip don't have to deal with that it seems like they already set it up ready to go for this and it works great like i said like you saw right here so um i hope this helps hope this alleviates some problems or questions you have um it's just running like a charm and well built and really good really doing well i'm super impressed super glad i finally got it i uh, hope that you enjoy this video if you have any questions comments or anything else, please post them in the questions area of this video.